So how many times last week did we talk about preparing for the market to pull back, right? What's going on team? It's Ricky with Tackwood Solutions here with a quick little market update. I'm going to start sharing my screen so you can see exactly what it is that I'm looking at. Um, this is something that we've talked about nonstop, especially with my Learn Plan Profit Group. Uh, we talked about the resistance at the EMA. We talked about how we haven't been able to break above it ever since March of 2022, right? Uh, we've been bearish. Market's been bearish for at least five and a half months. It's the condition that we're in. Uh, I didn't see it to be far fetched for when the market did begin to approach this EMA line that, hey, you know, I want to make sure that I do my part in making our viewers aware of an obvious resistance level. Not because I didn't think we couldn't break above it, but because if the past five months have taught us anything, it's that the markets have been more bearish than bullish. You know, fast forward now, it's very easy to say that, hey, for anyone that did reduce their position size and or lock in profits, right? It's never a better time to be cash. Market sold off or TQQQ sold off 14% yesterday and it's break even today. We're waiting for the FOMC meeting tomorrow. I actually wanted to ask you guys if you guys want me to live stream it. So tomorrow, uh, the feds will be meeting at 2 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, I would be more than happy to host that live stream um, and see how the market reacts to it, right? Uh, it's expected that they are going to take a more aggressive approach than half of a percent for a rate increase, uh, which is should be interesting. Should be interesting how the market reacts. But again, that, that is going to be tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern time. So if you guys want me to live stream this, all you literally have to do is like the video, subscribe to the channel, and then if this video gets over 1,500 likes, I'll host the live stream for free on YouTube. That's simple. Uh, but yeah, uh, you know, I just I just wrapped up uh, my live trading session with the Learn Plan Profit Group, and they had you know a very good understanding of the overall market. I mean, if the idea of predicting the bottom of something just doesn't make sense anymore, obviously, right? Because we've sold off now more uh, than even back in 2020, right, for the pandemic in the sense of how long it's taken. And I think that's what's really frustrating people is like they normally can buy the dip and when the markets are tend to be more bullish than bearish, the market recovers and then they end up making money. Now it's like you really have to earn it. It's really testing your patience and really testing your discipline, your ability, your ability to reduce position size and or lock in profits and to not be afraid to do so, right? Because of greed or because of arrogance. And I think that's what I want to remind you is that if your intention is still to invest, meaning making money either years from now or months from now, then I still think that with overall price levels for you know a lot of these different companies, I mean, Amazon right now is trading at $103 a share. It's down a little bit over 25% since its stock split, if I'm not mistaken, at highs of about 128. It's like, I think Amazon is a great deal. That's my, that's my opinion, right? I think Amazon is a great deal for an investment. Do I think that it's a great trade? Do I think it's something that's gonna make you money in a very short period of time? Heck no. Markets can continue to get worse. But by understanding or Amazon's current price point and the potential that it has to grow years from now, we're buying now to invest and to make money years from now, not now, right? We're just buying it now because of the price point that we have it at the deal. We can't predict the bottom. I can't be like, hey, I'm gonna buy it at the lowest price point. You can say that, hey, I'm gonna buy maybe when it begins to show more signs of an uptrend, staying patient, being a little bit more selective. I think that's a great way to approach the market. But the idea of like, hey, um, I'm gonna buy at the lowest price point. If that's like a, uh, an idea that you're really feeding yourself, I think that just like back in 2020, you're feeding yourself this idea or this goal that you're never actually going to be able to hit because you'll never know where, where the bottom is of something. Uh, the idea is just to get in at a price point that makes sense to you and your intention. So if your intention is to make money later down the road, then I would really begin to ignore of what I, the stocks I'm talking about. I don't care about that. But I think it would be in your future self's best interest to cherry pick and to be very, very selective. Not scared, but very, very selective. And the stocks that you want to buy now and invest in now that can make money down the road. Not anytime soon, but years from now. And you can choose one, two, maybe three different stocks that you see as long-term plays. Taking position size into consideration, and of course, understanding that you will have to tolerate maybe a little bit more of a red day uh, or a little bit more red days as the market can get worse than 
before it gets better. And that's just, again, the conditions that we're in. If you don't want to wait for that, set your alerts, wait for confirmation of a reversal, and we can follow up with it then. Uh, when asking the question, do I think today is going to be a good day to day trade? Uh, heck no. I think the overall markets are just waiting for the FOMC meeting tomorrow. Everyone's just waiting to see how aggressive an approach uh, the Feds take when it comes down to interest rates. And I think that the markets will be most likely very choppy today, kind of just trading sideways. We've been up 3% in the green once, twice, three times, and we're back in the red once again. Again, your job as a trader is to select the conditions that you choose to take advantage of. You don't have to trade every single day. The more that you open yourself to a position, the more you open yourself to risk. So make sure that the conditions are favorable. We use this analogy for those that follow me on Instagram. Imagine yourself as a race car driver. You get to choose the conditions that you race in. If you're trying to win, do you want it to be rainy? Do you want it to be so hot that your car overheats? No, right? You want the conditions to be favorable so you perform the best. The same thing when it comes down to the stock market. Pick the conditions that you choose to trade. If conditions are choppy, if conditions are unclear, and if we're waiting for the market to react tomorrow, then why are you putting yourself in an unfortunate scenario? Again, something to think about. I really do appreciate you guys' time. I'm excited to see uh, how the market reacts tomorrow and make sure you stay connected. I do run a free trading group chat. It's the first link in the description of this video and I hope to see you in there. Other than that, if you guys wanna be able to watch me trade live every day, I only work with the Learn Plan Profit Group and that's that second link down below. Also, friendly reminder, we did just drop the new apparel line. It's the cream collection. It is a limited drop. We will not be restocking, so do not ask. Once we sell out, they're done. So we have the jerseys, the tees, and the hoodies. Everything starts at $27. And again, make sure you head on over to shoptechbuds.com or click the fourth link in the description of this video and select your favorite items. And it does automatically enter you towards our giveaway as well. So for every $1 you spend, it equals five automatic entries for our iPad Air giveaway. So good luck. I appreciate you guys' time. Wish you guys nothing but the best. I'll see you tomorrow at Market Open if you're part of my Learn Plan Prof group. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.